everyone welcome to Angelica's corner in today's video I am going to be talking about starting my $1 challenge and as well as my coin jar so let's get started with the video so the dollar challenge is whatever you have left over from your cash envelopes any one dollar bills will be going into a savings and what I'm doing is that I'm going to be using this extra cash envelope that I have and this will be good because um, I'm not I don't have it yet set up for anything but once it gets too much ones I will change it into something else so I'm gonna be using this cash envelope for all my ones right now we're nearing my next paycheck and that is why I'm gonna go through all of these since we're nearing the next paycheck to find all the ones before my next video I'll be um, doing my cash envelope stuffing as well as any coins so what I do is that every time I use one of my envelopes and you will see probably more different envelopes than the prior video these are my other category that I still have money in which I noticed that I could use for this video I still have some ones and I put the change in some of them let me see if I can find the ones that I have the change in see like this one there's change in there I try at least putting the change right back into my envelope and some of them have ones that is why I'm bringing this out and some of them obviously are empty I'm first going to start with all my ones so let me go through my eat out envelope put this on the side here I'm going to go through all my cash envelopes right now and get all the ones out so eat out I have two ones I'm bringing them out. I'll put this right here on this side. So I have two ones there. My toiletry. Um, this one I have not yet put anything into it. But I believe there is a one right there. I'm going to take this out. And then medical. Nothing is in my medical cash envelope. Car maintenance. Nothing in there. Which I'm going to start putting stuff into my car maintenance because... Of oil changes and all that stuff coming up and I need to start putting something in this cart maintenance envelope my gas gas is always will be empty because I always put all the month the money into my gas I have my pet I'll bring the dollar out because I got her extra food yesterday um, my personal spend, there is a 10. I'm going to leave the 10 in there. I'm going to take out the 1. My groceries, there's nothing in there but change. Okay, so let's see how many 1s I have. I'm going to so have 1, 2. I'm going to organize these because I like to organize them. 3, 4, and 5. That's not bad. So pretty much the $1 system is that you take all what's left over from your cash envelopes and you put it into an envelope. And at the end of the year, I will count these out to see how much I have saved in ones. So pretty much a $1 saving. So that'll be great because I always get one left over. And it won't feel as bad when you're taking the money out, putting this money into a separate envelope or whatever, and then just open it up at the end of the year, which I think is quite awesome so here's my envelope I'll be using this until it's too much and I can't leave it in there so not bad for my first round that goes in there so now we're going to do all the coins I started this in January and this is a coin jar and what I love about this is that I'm gonna be putting all the change inside my cash envelopes is gonna go in here this is honestly a sauce jar that I, I just wash very well and I've been using it for coins. So I'm going to go through all of the envelopes to see how much I have left in there. Okay, so I have coins here in my grocery. Anything here? No. Anything here? No. Gas? No. Anything in here? No. Anything here? No. No. In my eat out, I do have some change. So at the end of the year, I will just go ahead and count these. 
and I will let you guys know how much I have in there. Next year on March, I will count my coins and I will count my one to see how much I have saved in both. So let's see how this system works. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well as click the notification bell so you will get notified every time I post a video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!